Wall Street uh, getting a note, a Wall Street note of sorts, getting some attention this morning that a lot of folks are going to pay attention to. Goldman Sachs's economic team, led by Jan Hatzius, who we know, uh, says that inflation will drop significantly next year. Now, Goldman cites three reasons. Supply constraints easing, cost of housing falling, and the labor market cooling. Goldman says if this happens, the Fed may be able to be less aggressive in its interest rate hiking cycle. Joining us right now to talk about is Linda Dussel. She's the senior equity strategist at Federated and uh, J.J. Kinahan, uh, IG North America uh, CEO. Good morning to you. Uh, what do you think? You, th you think it, it's over? It's over? Uh, I, I don't think you should be saying ding dong, the witch is dead by any stretch of the imagination, Andrew. You know, again, as Joe just got done saying, he had one data point last uh, week. I think that there has been a lot of people who are looking for a reason to buy, uh, you know, waiting for some good news. And, and let's face it, that move last Thursday was unlike anything we've seen in a long, long time. It was amazing that we just kind of kept going. But that all said, I think the inflationary pressure continues uh, through for the next six months. I do think their point, however, on housing is a really good one because the rate uh, move up happened so exponentially. I don't think housing prices have had an opportunity to catch back up. And as we start to see the you know housing selling season now slowing going into the holidays, when we pick up next spring, I do think you're going to see significantly lower prices overall, and that will help with some of the inflationary pressure. Linda? Uh, yeah, well, I agree with much of what J.J. said. Um, inflation is going to come down hard next year. Inflation has about a one-year lag with the monetary um, mon the money supply out there. M2 is crashing down hard. So definitely we'll see inflation come down hard. What The question that we all have to wonder now as we look into next year is what's going to happen with earnings? So right now you're 17 times forward earnings. Are the forward earnings too high? Uh, because all, all of this tightening is going to work with the lag. 2023 will be a very, very interesting year that way. And that's what I think we have to focus on is, is earnings next year. And that's a little bit harder than is inflation coming down. Linda, uh, you know, when, when it appeared that the Republicans were going to be, uh, you know, having a red wave, uh, we talked, or uh, I didn't, but others talked about how the stock market was going up, 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 because there's a red wave. Uh, now you saw what happened over the weekend and where we really are. I don't think the markets are trading off that much as a result of that. What do you think the politics mean? Yeah, and it's interesting that the markets aren't trading off that much from cryptocurrencies uh, blow up last week either. That's a, a very powerful comment. I think that the market, as history says, just likes gridlock. And this looks like it's going to be gridlock to the extent the Republicans win the House. That's okay. My own personal hope is that this all gets a lot more boring. I think it would be cool if we, we made our way into the next two years thinking, let's make politics boring again. Wouldn't that be lovely if we did that? And we could get back to fundamentals and we wouldn't have these outside moves either way on betting what you know, what's, uh, politicians are going to do. Definitely, it seems like the tax hikes would be off the table for now. And as somebody looking at the market, I think that's what's really, really good news. And then let's just, uh, you know, just get, get well, saddled up for we'll, this next uh, election season. It'll be too much fun. 